and welcome to our latest listing, a Jano Sun Odyssey 49i from 2008, Ciel Rose, meaning pink sky in French. This design is very reputable for offshore cruising and world voyaging for a family. Ciel Rose is imported in French Polynesia and can stay there as long as you wish if you prefer to keep her there as a holiday getaway. But let's step on board and meet with her owner, a charming Australian man who has owned the boat for the past two years and is ready to show her to Welcome you. Welcome aboard Seal Rose. Two years ago I purchased Seal Rose in French Polynesia. I was building a house back in Avoca in Sydney uh, where I live and we had plans in council and the plans were taking way too long and I had the money, I had, I had cash and over two years these plans took in the city and I thought I would I thought I'd, uh, that money was burning a hole in my pocket <laughs> and I've always had a dream to buy a yacht and sail it across the ocean. I found uh, Seal Rose in French Polynesia. Um, I really liked the ad. Uh, the previous owner was from Toronto. Uh, he was sailing with his family from the Med through the Panama. They went to Galapagos, Marquise. And then they were heading, pulled into French Polynesia. They were heading to Australia, but due to COVID, uh, Australia wasn't letting people in. Uh, the wife had sort of had enough and they decided to sell the boat. Uh, I picked up the boat from them and it's been one of the best experiences of my life. I've come over here, I've, I've uh, sailed from here up to the Tuamotos four times. I've sailed out to Bora Bora, Huhini, Raitea uh, half a dozen times. I've been to uh, Morea 20 times. <laughs> such a beautiful place it's a lifestyle that I, I never imagined when I purchased the boat the uh, the guy that owned the boat was in Canada and I said listen I, I'm fine to buy the boat but I want to go out for a sale and he says well I, I'm in Canada I can't take you out and I said well is there anything we can do and he rang me up the next day and he said I've hired a captain for you and he said he's going to take you out for the day and we got on board and and the boat performed amazingly so I was, everything was good I just wanted to check the boat out uh, I'd had the motor done I'd had the bottom done all the rigging was done um, and I just wanted to make sure it sailed right and I wanted to see how the boat performed and we've gone out for the day and it was a great day and the captain looked at me and he said well, what's your plan what are you going to do and I said oh he said, oh, I've, I've, I've got one more rigging report to come in. As soon as I get it in, I'm heading straight back to Australia. And he looked at me and said, you Australians are so weird. He said, you come to French Polynesia, you look at boats, you buy them, and then you go. He said, why don't you stay? And, and I, I actually did. I stayed here for, we've been here two years now. Um, and I've had some amazing experience. But it's at the time that, that the house I've, I've designed is ready. It's out of council now. I actually do need the money to build the house. Um, and you never know in the future, I, I might sort of come back and buy another boat. Or, but if, if I was in a different stage of my life, I think I'd keep this boat. I think it, um, it's a very good boat. It's performed well. I've not had any trouble with it at all. Um, in the time that I've owned it, I've, I've added a lot to the boat. Um, I've done the clears. I've, I've put a canvas on the boat that gives us amazing shade. Um, it had a delta anchor on the front we've replaced the uh delta anchor with a rock anchor which is is a far superior anchor um but again just minor things um the thing that i loved about the boat this guy bought the boat and he was going to sail to australia with his family so he did not short on anything um they'd had a brand new zodiac uh with brand new motor the the life raft was rechecked um it's got uh, all the EPIRBs, all the safety stuff, there's flares, and we will go through the boat and I'll show you where, what we do have. Uh, but the boat was set up right. I, I really do believe if you pulled everything on this boat off the boat and laid it on a dock, the, the amount of value for the stuff on the dock would be just as much as the boat. So, and I think that's a lot of the cost in, in having um, in, in a lot of these boats. So some of them you buy them and people strip them out where this one, we've set it up and it's ready to go it's walk on walk off whatever you see in this video stays on the boat um and it's been an amazing thing we're, we're talking everything cuts cups pans cutlery cooking utensils sheets pillows blankets everything that's on the boat will stay on the boat there's a list of spares on the boat that's 
a mile long that has been amazing. He's got tools with his two stand up paddle boards on the boat there's there's everything that you can imagine that he's he's left on the boat um so with that i'd like to take you with on a bit of a tour through the boat uh we'll, we'll show you each room um the motor has been serviced we service the motor at the start of every season regardless of the hours we put on it some some one year we put 30 hours on it because you literally motor to the pass you put up your sails and, and you're off um there's the the motor sort of it, it's like i said apart from a fan belt and has never let me down it's a, a little yamaha motor a little t four cylinder turbo diesel and they're an amazing motor that uses there's very fuel efficient um you you will sit on uh, like seven eight knots um at 2500 rpm which is nice. It's just reasonable. Um, we, I did spend this June, I spent um, a month in Raitea and we actually stripped the bottom of the boat. We, I went down there to re-antifowl. It was time to be re -antifowl. We hauled the boat and um, the guy down there at Tapatu had a, a bit of a sander and he just sanded the boat. And he said, oh, this has had six coats of, of anti-foul on it he said we can coat it but you're not going to guarantee so we went through the process of stripping the whole lot back we stripped all the anti-foul off we went back to the gel coat and we applied three coats of epoxy on it and then it's had four coats of anti-foul uh, the hempels hard uh race race coat i think it's called and it's the boat's amazing even that picked up that it, it, it just glides through the water but all in all i've been really impressed with the boat um it, it is here on a mooring, so we are in Papietti. We are on a mooring field straight opposite the airport. It, I do have a contract for the mooring. Uh, the mooring at the moment costs us around $5,000 a year Australian. Um, I, I usually stay here from March to November. Uh, I might go back to Australia once in that time. And then in November to March, I have someone look after the boat for me. Adrian comes on board. He'll start the mode. He will check it all out um, it, it, just to make sure the boat's safe. And it gives you a, a lot of peace of mind knowing your boat's safe, being looked after. And he charges about $80 a week. He comes on there once a week. And it's, it's a great service. So I do believe this is amazing holiday house where it's not going to cost you a lot of money. It's... Uh, like I said, it, depending on how long you're here, it's five thousand dollars for the mooring, uh, Australian. So American, you're looking at three, um, and it's it's just an amazing adventure. Um, it has been one of the best things I've done in my life, and I will be happy to, to see to see it go. But it's something in my life that I have to have to do. I have to go back and I have to build this house. The plans I've I've already put everything in motion for that. Um, so this is this is a, a great thing like i said let's um let's go for a, a tour through the boat and i'll show you what there is here you have our yamma motor it is actually a, a 4jh4 um it's a little little four cylinder turbo diesel um i have had no trouble with the motor at all um one of the downsides that, that i've got with the motor is they they used all the foam for um just noise protection and they put this plastic backing on the back and that that sort of uh all falls off so i'm forever um picking up but it's only a minor thing that's that's going wrong with the motor uh, like i said it's been serviced it gets serviced every year regardless of how many hours we do um it's a, it's great we, we have fuel filters here there's a spare fil another filter at the back um so we've got a backup filter um the impeller's been done on the motor we've done the fan belt Again, it's just uh, I'd rather be on the side of safety rather than letting something break. So the impeller gets done every year. Um, we've got spare impellers underneath. I think if if motors um, work a, a lot, they, 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 which motors are supposed to do, um, we, when we we sail, we we don't tend to use the motor a lot. You know, it's it gets used every now and then, but you you start it for an hour, you you, you drive out the pass, and then you put the sails up and. I'd rather sit in one spot for a week or two weeks and wait for the correct wind than sort of to motor sort of to a place. Um, but again, we've, we've had no trouble. The, the coolants uh, have all been replaced. We've pulled all the coolant out, replaced it with tropical coolant. 
Uh, the uh, transmission, I've done the transmission. We've put all the oil out of the transmission. It's just uh, prevention is better than cure in my book, and that's what I've always done. We've always uh, I've, I've maintained the motor. Adrian, who looks after the boat, who I talked about earlier, um, that, that went on the way, he's the one that actually does the servicing. So if you ever want to have a chat to him, he w- he can tell you everything about the motor. Um, but they're just simple. They're a great motor. I think if you Google it and have a look at uh, the stats and the reviews on the motor, they're, they're one of the better motors that you, you, you can get. That are just they, they just start and they go forever. Here we are at the captain's table. So with, with the boat, it had, it, like I talked about before, the, the, the previous owner was from Canada and he set the boat up amazingly. The previous owner installed the Ray Marine, it was new in 21, and not that we use it. Most of the time I'll just use Navionics. I take my iPad up onto the table and it's, it pretty much does everything you want. It'll, it'll give you speed. So right now we're doing 0.3 knots. It's, it's, it's an amazing thing. Where It's great to have this as a backup, but that works. We're at the captain's table now. These are your two fridges, your, your, your water. Uh, this is your bilge. I've got an automatic bilge that's hardwired, and I've got a, a manual bilge. Um, if I put that on, you can just hear the bilge just kick in there. The automatic stays on. All the lights work. Um, we've got battery, and your fuel is is here. Um, on next to the captain's table, I actually have installed screens, uh, touch screens for the solar. Um, they'll give us a reading of, of each solar panel. Um, each solar panel has its own charger. Um, so each panel works independent. Um, we've installed Starlink. Uh, we've hardwired in. It's, it actually runs on 12 volt um, and with a switch just here. So if you, you, you're after Starlink, you want internet, you come in here and you just flick a switch and that's it. The, the satellite, uh, we, you will acquire a satellite and, and you're away. Um, which has been great, which is a game changer out here. You can be in the middle of the ocean and, and you've got internet. Like it's, that, that was great. With, with the Starlink, I, that wasn't on the boat when I purchased it. What was on the boat is an Iridium Go, which is a sat nav phone. Um, there's cards on the boat. You can connect that up to predict wind and that will give you wind predictions all the way up. We've got VHF radio and I actually have a handheld one if we're sailing into port um, where you, you trying to, when you sail into Papietti, we have to cross the runway where we ring Papietti port. Um, and j- just to have that makes it easier. And you've got a personal EPIRB there and the main EPIRB for the boat. Everything you see on the boat is going to come with the boat. I will not sell anything that's here. A lot of people, when they sell boats, they strip them out, which is crazy. Um, the whole idea of me selling this is a walk-on, walk-off. Everything in that, that I've ever needed, I've purchased and I've, I've paid the correct money for it and bought quality. Um, there is a waterproof torch if at night you get in uh, the anchor wraps up or you just need to get in the water and have a look at night um i've got a a speaker that there's there's maps first aid kit binoculars the boat is coming fully equipped here we are in the galley the the, the galley is really good it's very easy to cook with um fridges being there stove it's got a really really nice two bowl sink um with, with plates that you, you, you cover everything up. The thing that I love the most about this boat is what I've said before, it comes with everything. You, you've got plates and glasses, you've got cups, there's spices. Um, underneath here we have, there's pots and pans and you've got drawers full of cutlery, every cooking utensil that you need. Um, the bin is, is here, that's all done. But uh, there's a four burner gas stove with oven uh, that makes really, really good banana bread. <laughs> that we've, we've come out, you buy bananas and they give you a big bunch of them and I got sick of them going off and I, I learned to make banana bread and it's been really, really good. People never go, someone goes sailing. We do have, there's a fridge and a freezer on the, 
on the dot uh, on the top here um, for big sales. If you're going out to the tour motos for a month, what I tend to do is start to use them, and I'll use the Dometic as my freezer. So we'll stock the Dometic full of food. They'll last us a couple of months, uh, and then you've still got your fridge and your freezer that you'll work from here. On the other end, you've got all your Tupperware. Um, there's a soda stream on board. Um, there's there's toasters and kettles. So the toaster and kettle work on 220 volt. So it, it is a very functional kitchen. For uh, uh, being on a boat, it's easy living. Um, underneath the seats, we do have storage compartments for food, all our, our pantry. And so the, the galley, it's just for a boat, it's, it's huge. And it's easy to... It's easy to cook in, you have great ventilation and, and good light. So on the boat, we do have two inverters, which one is 110 volts and the other one is 220 volts, where you can use your, your blenders um, to make smoothies and, and juices, uh, anything that I think we're up to a 1,000 amps that will cater for that. Just before we head into the cabins, I'd just like to show you the rest. Like I stated before, Everything that is on this boat is going to come with the boat. That, that you've got what we've talked about here, your radios, your light, your iridium, the speaker. On in, in this here, we have maps of the whole Pacific. You've got a first aid kit, you've got a set of binoculars. You have so much storage here. There's that, that every like us like I stated, and I'd like to say again, there, there's there's books, uh, sailing ocean, world cruising. You do have a radio cd player that is connected to the boat um everything these days we tend not to use it i use the speaker and you use your wi-fi with your phone um on, on here we have there, there's there's books and just more storage it's more about showing you the storage that i have uh on the boat in this main area in the galley again you have so much storage in in what what's available on the boat underneath these cushions we have a, a list of there's there's a whole lot all your flares that come with the boat and it like i said everything's everything's been done everything's safety wise it's been amazing the the toolkit that comes with the boat pretty much provides everything that you need easy outs there's and it all comes supplied where if something does go wrong and you need something to fix, which, being honest, on a boat, that you're always going to have something you want to fix. Um, but you try and provide for it too, where you have, I've tried to buy, there's, there's silicon here. There's a waterproof silicon that you can use underwater. There's the more flares. Um, <clears throat> but there's an arrangement. Uh, uh, there's a whole, whole lot of supplies that are that are here uh, up here we have i tried to set it up where you've got board games we use this screwdriver set um and i have set the boat up with with a a, a 12 volt uh, it's an eight, eight, 18 volt um cordless i've got a a cordless drill we've got a a grinder, I've got a vacuum cleaner that works on the same system and a sander that works all the works on the on these these batteries that are that are here on the boat. You've got your chargers that you can use with your inverter to charge. So any tools that you need do come with the boat in the center of the table. We also have another storage spot for more alcohol. Um, which is great, um, a set of glasses for, for cocktails if you're looking for them. But like I said, we, we've tried to stock the boat up with everything that, that you might need. Okay, we'll head into the cabins. Both cabins at the bow are exactly the same. So we'll, we'll, we'll show you this one where we, we go in. We actually do have a cooler on board. In all the cabins, there's, there's fire extinguishers here. They're on the ground. Um, you, you have that they have torches in each cabin and you have charges for phones that are here in each cabin. Each cabin does have a fan, you have lights. There's a lot of storage in, in, in each cabin where the, for, for clothes and various people that are staying on the boat. You've got more storage above here. 
and then that folds down you've got storage for clothes have more storage there so for for a cabin on a boat i pretty i'm pretty happy with what what, what we have um they're pretty spacious and each each cabin has their own ensuite the shower is used where you, you just pull that up and put it in there where you've got your shower the uh, everything falls on the floor and you do have a pump out so there is a little switch in in two of the bathrooms the switches work to pump the floor out but over time that i think the the switches they 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 stop working and so i have installed a switch here that sucks the water out after you've had a shower um the, all the bathrooms work that that all the showers um and all the toilets work there's there um you have to maintain them uh, pretty well regularly but there's i tend not to use they are equipped to to pump salt water in from the outside um the salt water mixes with urine and it does smell a smell a bit where what we tend to do is just use fresh water so when you when you finish you just pull the tap out and turn the turn turn, turn the tap on and that that, that fills up the, the, the water in, in using fresh water instead of using the salt water which i tend to prefer okay so we'll, we'll head into this the, the cabin on the port side so this this whole wall can pull out there's a, a little deadbolt here where we have had it out and you pull these boards down and it will convert into one big bedroom at the bow um i've had guests on board i tend to prefer to leave it as it is in this cabin i do have my dometic fridge that i have all fully stocked and that's pretty much what i use most of the time it's it uses a lot less energy than the other fridges um and on, on the boat it's all about saving it where you can but in big sales when we go to tomatoes that gets used as the freezer and we use the other fridges we'll head into the two bedrooms in the stern of the boat um again this there's four toilets on the boat i we use three this one i've used as a, a storage closet um i've got my fishing gear i've got stand-up paddle boards uh, there's mattress and various brooms there's spear gun in there that that all come with the boat where i discussed before this is where our two inverters are this is a, a, a 240 volt one there and then you have 110 there and they just turn on and you can plug in appliances anything you need all the cabins back here are pretty spacious there, there's a lot of there's a lot of storage place in in there before we, we talked about I've just got spares all the hatches um, they don't leak at the moment but I, I just I went and bought new seals for them just in case they did but again I'm not going to fix what's not broken so they're there if you ever need them um, in this cabin you've got your storage uh, hanging space and that the beds the beds are good we'll head into the other bedroom in the sun this is the one that I sleep in with with the I, I, on this side, I, I actually have a, most of the beds do just have a, a foam mattress on this. I have actually went out and purchased a, a topper, which makes the world, which makes a big difference to the to the bed. All the all the beds have um, mattress protectors on the on the bed and with the bed topper. So there, it's comfortable. You get good airflow. You got from the roof. You got from the side. And then the ensuite in here is is slightly bigger, where we have a, a dual access. Again, it sort of works pretty much the same. Where all, all that all that everything works on on the boat. There's lights here that work, and it works on the same principle. Toilets are the same. Where I I I, I don't use the the salt water in the toilets like I, like i said before the boat has been set up really really well and one of the best things i've done with the boat if i've used something i've replaced it like i said before the the we, we did a fan belt we were coming back from the tornadoes and we did a fan belt and you pull up the floor and you can just about have everything there's a fan belt that we use that we use to and i replaced it we have there's a grease gun there you have uh, silicon grease, there's inox. Uh, then, then you have all your filters. I've got spare spare filters for the for spare fill filters, what we just showed. Um, everything that we, we need for the boat, I did talk about before. The impellers, 
um, you have spare impellers. Um, there's there's more spare oil oil filters, and it's just great knowing that sort of everything you need is here. That we you, you duct tape, and it's one of those things where I could probably go in there and chuck half this out and make it look a lot cleaner, but then one day I'm going to need what, what 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 we've chucked out. It's sort of there's there's it's just the extent of of what you need. If if you if you're sailing out and something breaks, it's just amazing how it's been set up. Where you have a pot rivet gun, and then you have both stainless steel and aluminium pot rivets um, to fix anything that that goes wrong in the in the boat. It, when we're out at sea and there's not a not a shop that you can turn to to fix stuff, so it's nice knowing that. We do have a lot of stuff on the boat, if, if need be, to, to, to fix. One of the other things I really liked about this boat, like I'm not super tall, but I am 6'1", and it gives us plenty of head height. My son's 6'5", and he was able to come on the boat without ha hitting his head. There's nothing more frustrating than when you're on a boat and you're walking around like that the whole time. So having that head height um, for, for the taller guys is, is really important to me, and it's something I... I, I just, again, when you're down, if you're cooking, you, you've got grab rails everywhere. Everywhere's a grab rail in the ceiling, in, in, his, in the kitchen, on the bench. Um, the boat has been thought out really, really well. And it, it's like I said, if you're down here sailing and, and, and cooking a meal, um, it's it's great. The, the, the stove works on a, on a pivot. If you're in seas and, and you, you're cooking, you can come down and it, it will pivot. So you, you're not spilling all the tea or coffee or anything that you that you're cooking when, when you're under sail. Welcome up to the top. So the thing that I did really like about this boat was everything that we need is right here. So to pull 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 the mainsail out, um, your genoas are down there. Every single rope is in this area. We don't need to go up on deck at all. Um, in, in a crossing, I do not go up on deck. I stay in the cockpit all the time. Um, we do have life jackets with ties. There's, you've got all your, your ties here, here to attach you, all your safety gear to. Um, again, the, the boat has been laid out really, really well. Um, I, everyone loves this area. We've had lots of people on board. All the tables come out. So we spend, this is where we spend most of our time. All our meals are, are out here. And it's very... Very versatile. This, you know, there's enough eight people to come in and, and and sit here and and drinks and food and and it is is an amazing area. All the cushions I have redone. They are only redone this year. Uh, they used to be in a, a bone colour with a blue beading um, that we've we've redone in in blue, which I, I really like. I have replaced the clears. The clears were showing their age or that all the clears have been replaced underneath all the seats we have just about everything if you're into your fishing there, there's three big capsules of fishing gear that all come with the boat um i've got my cleaning my buckets there's a tool chest there you've got a, a 2 kva honda generator your water maker there's more jerry cans here siphon hose on this side, I have two, there's two stand-up paddle boards. There's a seat for the paddle board, your pumps, there's ski ropes. Um, I have spare gas bottles. In here you have, there's various cleaning apparatus, a shade sail, and there is a set of bolt cutters in there. If if for, you need them for anything, call, put, put called up on a, a mooring or. At the helm we have, you, you have your dual steering wheel. I have a, a quad lock thing here for the phone. Um, the steering wheel is sort of is leather case, but it, it probably is in in need of a bit of repair. On, on here we have our instruments, uh, which I have replaced. They they do get damaged by the sun. The the uh, the, the, the displays. Um, I've tried to keep them all the same, so we've I've got refurbished ones. This the autopilot that has that's there. We have our our depth gauge. Um, which is there. Um, here we have, this is our chain counter. That gives you your 
your chain up and down that you can operate from here. And then on, on this boat, we also have a bow thruster. So simply by turning that on, and it, if, you, if you look at the bow, you can see the bow moving towards Morea, which is really, really good for a 50 foot boat where you, um, if you're going into port um, to get in, in now the marinas. But on this side, we have our wind instruments um, that I haven't done, that, that's, that was original. And uh, on this one where you can see I have depth and speed. Um, the speed I, I use Navionics um, for, which actually gives you a better, a better reading uh, and more accurate speed. When I purchased the boat, the boat did have solar, but it had flexible solar panels that um, came through the Bimney and ran down the side. They don't produce as much solar as the rigid. So we've, I've had these brackets designed up. So when we're in port, it's a, just a, a case of just undoing a little wing nut. And then if, if we're going out sailing, then they just fold down. And then you connect up your wing nut. So uh, when, we're, when we're sailing, they, they stay in a vertical position. And when we're back at port, you put them back in the horizontal position. For more storage, we have the two rear hatches. So when, when, I, when the, I sell the boat, there will be two full sets of scuba diving gear and three tanks that actually will be sold with the boat. Um, we have various snorkel gear um, that's gonna be sold. And they are, there is the jerry cans that, that I use for water, where I was talking before, you have four jerry cans. So there is ample storage with the boat. You have uh, a connection if you, if you need power for the generator. And then if you're in port, you can disconnect that and plug that straight into the mains in the port. In the back locker here, you have hoses. The Delta anchor that I had, that I changed over is in the bottom. So you actually, you have a spare anchor and all your circuit breakers for your electrical that are all here. On CROs, there is a mile of storage space. Um, we have our front locker where we have, there's, there's life jackets. We have um, all our fenders that, that I stow in the front life jacket. Um, when I go back to Australia, the, the 25 horsepower will go in the front um, as cured on top when the inflatable is placed on top. At the, at the front, we have our anchor. So everything is, is remote controlled. Um, I have actually replaced the remote control. So we have a brand new remote control. Um, the anchor can go, goes down and goes back up. The chain is in pretty good condition. Um, you have about 60, 70 meters of chain. I've never used it all, so I can't tell you. The windlass has been serviced and is in good condition. So when I purchased the, 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 the boat, we, we anchored out at Opino. Um, on the boat, we had a Delta anchor. So the difference in between the Delta, the Delta has two blades on the side, but it does not have a bar over the top. So if your boat does a 180 degree turn in light wind, it's enough just to pull the anchor on the side and it, it's not enough wind to reset the anchor. Um, I was in Opino, the exactly the same thing happened. We dragged anchor and I, I wasn't happy with it. So straight away I went out and I purchased a Rockner. So all the reviews state that the Rockner are one of the better anchors, well, if not one of the best anchors. Um, it has a bar that sits across the top. So as soon as it rolls onto its side, it, it won't go on, it, it actually corrects itself, even in light wind. Since I put the Rockner on, we've just never had a trouble with the boat. Um, they're an amazing anchor and it's been an asset for the boat. The Delta is in the back locker. And so I do have a spare, which is great also. One of the things that has been a game changer with me, you get on catamarans and they have so much cover. Um, the mono holes are great. I love the mono hole, but when you're at Anchorage or uh, you, you, you don't have a lot of cover and they get pretty hot. And I, I, what can I do? And I actually solved the problem myself where I, I actually developed and, and manufactured a canvas cover that fit, fitted to the boat. It's easy to install. And when it's in installed, it, it gives you an airflow underneath the cover that takes a lot of the heat out of the boat. Um, I just, it takes five minutes to foot up. I can do it by myself.
there you have it pretty much done the um a couple of these clip on to to finish it off but it it, it is an amazing how much cooler it makes the boat <coughs> when seated inside you get the airflow that because the boat will always point in the direction of the wind the wind tunnels down through that takes any hot air out and out the back but that's something that I'm pretty proud of that we did ourselves and and um, it's it's made a, a great difference for us on the boat. I just want to show you what the sails are like and the thing that I love about this boat is how easy it is to operate one person out. So I'll pull the mainsail out, um, we'll get a, a shot of the mainsail and then I'll pull the Genoa out and the, the sails are in really, really good condition. They're not frayed at all, there's no rips, there's no tears. The, the, the sails are really, really good. There, there you have Seal Rose. Um, I hope the video was good and I hope you got to see as much as as I could possibly show you. Um, in, in my heart, I know the boat is good. Um, everything I've done on the boat, I've tried to do to the best quality to make sure. Uh, I've never scrimped a dollar on the boat. Um, I've been here for two years now, um, sailing around French Polynesia and I have to say it's been one of the best experiences of my life. I said the boat has pre performed flawlessly. Um, it's everything that I could have expected. Um, I've been fortunate enough to bring m my mother and my father on board um, both separately. Um, Mum came on for two weeks and, and she, she said oh can I stay another two weeks and to share that experience with, with them and, and my kids um, has been something that you just very, very hard to replace. Um, it, to come and buy a, a boat of this calibre, of this quality, um, for the, a, a pretty fair price and to have it for two years and to take people out the tour motors and take them out to Morea and have friends come on board and, and literally send you emails and text messages at the end saying, thank you for one of the best experiences of my life. Um, actually gives you a lot of warmth in your heart. So to have your, your kids on board and have friends and family on board, um, morea has got an amazing place where we take people up and there's stingrays that swarm all over that, that, that your, your pat. There's, there, there'll be four or five sharks swimming underneath your feet and around your feet. You're in coral with reef fish and blue trevally swimming through your legs. There are experiences that are really, really hard to to get and what I'm offering, you can you can buy a boat, you can buy buy this boat, you can have it for two years, you maintain it, and you get your money back. I know it's a risk, but anything in life it, that is a risk is worth doing. It's sort of you, you, you have to take the risk. But uh, we've been over there, taking friends there. We've just arrived, and a mate radioed and said there's whales going through the park, like outside the pass, and we're getting the inflatable, and we rush out there, and you have to stay about 300 meters away from, but. We'll go up and we, we'll drop in the water uh, ahead and you just watch the whales swim underneath you. These are things that it's very, very hard to put a, a value on that, that you won't get anywhere else. Um, and it's just to, to take that risk in life and it's, it's something that I'm really, really glad that I did and I'll have memories with me for the rest of my life. Thanks for looking at my boat. I do believe it's a, it's a great boat.